C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 7 chapter 1 integers page 9 1.4 multiplication of integers we can add and subtract integers let us now learn how to multiply integers 1.4.1 Multiplication of a positive and a negative integer We know that multiplication of whole numbers is repeated addition. For example, 5 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to 3 multiplied by 5 which is equal to 15. Can you represent addition of integers in the same way? Page 10 Try these. Find 4 multiplied by minus 8 8 multiplied by minus 2 3 multiplied by minus 7 10 multiplied by minus 1 using number line. We have from the following number line, minus 5, plus, minus 5, plus, minus 5, which is equal to, minus 15. But we can also write, minus 5, plus, minus 5, plus, minus 5, is equal to, 3 multiplied by minus 5. Therefore, 3 multiplied by minus 5 is equal to minus 15. Similarly, minus 4 plus minus 4 plus minus 4 plus minus 4 plus minus 4 is equal to 5 multiplied by minus 4, which is equal to minus 20. And minus 3 plus minus 3 plus minus 3 plus minus 3 is equal to dash which is equal to dash also minus 7 plus minus 7 plus minus 7 is equal to dash which is equal to dash let us see how to find the product of a positive integer and a negative integer without using number line. Let us find 3 multiplied by minus 5 in a different way. First, find 3 multiplied by 5 and then put minus sign before the product obtained. You get minus 15. That is how we find minus within brackets, 3 multiplied by 5 to get minus 15. Similarly, 5 multiplied by minus 4 is equal to minus, within brackets, 5 multiplied by 4, which is equal to minus 20. Find in a similar way. 4 multiplied by minus 8 is equal to dash, which is equal to dash. 3 multiplied by minus 7 is equal to dash, which is equal to dash. 6 multiplied by minus 5 is equal to dash, which is equal to dash. 2 multiplied by minus 9 is equal to dash, which is equal to dash. Using this method, we thus have 10 multiplied by minus 43 is equal to dash minus within brackets 10 multiplied by 43 which is equal to minus 430 try these find 1 6 multiplied by minus 19 2 12 multiplied by minus 32 3 7 multiplied by minus 22 Till now, we multiplied integers as positive integer multiplied by negative integer. Let us now multiply them as negative integer multiplied by positive integer. We first find 
minus 3 multiplied by 5. To find this, observe the following pattern. We have 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to 15. 2 multiplied by 5 is equal to 10, which is equal to 15 minus 5. 1 multiplied by 5 is equal to 5, which is equal to 10 minus 5. 0 multiplied by 5 is equal to 0, which is equal to 5 minus 5. So, minus 1 multiplied by 5 is equal to 0 minus 5, which is equal to minus 5. Page 11. Minus 2 multiplied by 5 is equal to minus 5 minus 5, which is equal to minus 10. Minus 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to minus 10 minus 5, which is equal to minus 15. We already have 3 multiplied by minus 5 is equal to minus 15. So we get minus 3 multiplied by 5 is equal to minus 15, which is equal to 3 multiplied by minus 5. Using such patterns, we also get minus 5 multiplied by 4 is equal to minus 20, which is equal to 5 multiplied by minus 4. Using patterns, find minus 4 multiplied by 8, minus 3 multiplied by 7, minus 6 multiplied by 5, and minus 2 multiplied by 9. Check whether minus 4 multiplied by 8 is equal to 4 multiplied by minus 8, minus 3 multiplied by 7 is equal to 3 multiplied by minus 7, minus 6 multiplied by 5 is equal to 6 multiplied by minus 5, and minus 2 multiplied by 9 is equal to 2 multiplied by minus 9. Using this, we get minus 33 multiplied by 5 is equal to 33 multiplied by minus 5, which is equal to minus 165. We thus find that while multiplying a positive integer and a negative integer, we multiply them as whole numbers and put a minus sign before the product. We thus get a negative integer. Try these. 1. Find a 15 multiplied by minus 16 b 21 multiplied by minus 32 c minus 42 multiplied by 12 d minus 55 multiplied by 15 2. Check if a 25 multiplied by minus 21 is equal to minus 25 multiplied by 21. B. Minus 23 multiplied by 20 is equal to 23 multiplied by minus 20. Write five more such examples. In general, for any two positive integers a and b, we can say a multiplied by minus b is equal to minus a multiplied by b is equal to minus, within brackets, a multiplied by b. 1.4.2 Multiplication of two negative integers can you find the product minus 3 multiplied by minus 2? Observe the following. Minus 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to minus 12. Minus 3 multiplied by 3 is equal to minus 9, which is equal to minus 12 minus minus 3. 
minus 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to minus 6, which is equal to minus 9 minus minus 3. Minus 3 multiplied by 1 is equal to minus 3, which is equal to minus 6 minus minus 3. Minus 3 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0, which is equal to minus 3 minus minus 3. Minus 3 multiplied by minus 1 is equal to 0 minus minus 3, which is equal to 0 plus 3, which is equal to 3. Minus 3 multiplied by minus 2 is equal to 3 minus minus 3, which is equal to 3 plus 3, which is equal to 6. Do you see any pattern? Observe how the products change. Page 12 Based on this observation, complete the following. Minus 3 multiplied by minus 3 is equal to dash. Minus 3 multiplied by minus 4 is equal to dash. Now, observe these products and fill in the blanks. Minus 4 multiplied by 4 is equal to minus 16. Minus 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to minus 12, which is equal to minus 16 plus 4. Minus 4 multiplied by 2 is equal to dash, which is equal to minus 12 plus 4. Minus 4 multiplied by 1 is equal to dash. Minus 4 multiplied by 0 is equal to dash. Minus 4 multiplied by minus 1 is equal to dash. Minus 4 multiplied by minus 2 is equal to dash. Minus 4 multiplied by minus 3 is equal to dash. From these patterns, we observe that minus 3 multiplied by minus 1 is equal to 3 which is equal to 3 multiplied by 1. Minus 3 multiplied by minus 2 is equal to 6, which is equal to 3 multiplied by 2. Minus 3 multiplied by minus 3 is equal to 9, which is equal to 3 multiplied by 3. And minus 4 multiplied by minus 1 is equal to 4, is equal to 4 multiplied by 1. So, minus 4 multiplied by minus 2 is equal to 4 multiplied by 2 is equal to dash. Minus 4 multiplied by minus 3 is equal to dash, which is equal to dash. So, observing these products, we can say that the product of two negative integers is a positive integer. We multiply the two negative integers as whole numbers and put the positive sign before the product. Thus we have minus 10 multiplied by minus 12 which is equal to plus 120 which is equal to 120. Similarly, minus 15 multiplied by minus 6 is equal to plus 90, which is equal to 90. In general, for any two positive integers a and b, minus a multiplied by minus b is equal to a multiplied by b. Try these. 1. Starting from minus 5 multiplied by minus 4, find minus 5 multiplied by minus 6. 2. Starting from minus 6 multiplied by 3, find minus 6 multiplied by minus 7. Try these. Find minus 31 multiplied by minus 100. Minus 25 multiplied by minus 72. 
minus 83 multiplied by minus 28. Game 1. 1. Take a board marked from minus 104 to 104 as shown in the figure. 2. Take a bag containing two blue and two red dice. Number of dots on the blue dice indicate positive integers and number of dots on the red dice indicate negative integers. 3. Every player will place his or her counter at zero. 4. Each player will take out two dice at a time from the bag and throw them. Page 13. 5. After every throw, the player has to multiply the numbers marked on the dice. 6. If the product is a positive integer, then the player will move his counter towards 104. If the product is a negative integer, then the player will move his counter towards minus 104. 7. The player who reaches either minus 104 or 104 first is the winner. Page 14. 1.4.3 Product of three or more negative integers. Euler in his book Ankitung Zur Algebra, 1770, was one of the first mathematicians to attempt to prove minus one multiplied by minus one is equal to one. We observed that the product of two negative integers is a positive integer. What will be the product of three negative integers, four negative integers? Let us observe the following examples. A. Minus 4 multiplied by minus 3 is equal to 12. B. Minus 4 multiplied by minus 3 multiplied by minus 2 is equal to, within brackets, Minus 4 multiplied by minus 3 multiplied by minus 2, which is equal to 12 multiplied by minus 2, which is equal to minus 24. C. Minus 4 multiplied by minus 3 multiplied by minus 2 multiplied by minus 1 is equal to, within brackets, Minus 4 multiplied by minus 3 multiplied by minus 2 multiplied by minus 1, which is equal to minus 24 multiplied by minus 1. D. Minus 5 multiplied by, in brackets, minus 4 multiplied by minus 3 multiplied by minus 2 multiplied by minus 1 is equal to minus 5 multiplied by 24 which is equal to minus 120. From the above products, we observe that a. The product of two negative integers is a positive integer. b. The product of three negative integers is a negative integer. c. Product of four negative integers is a positive integer. What is the product of five negative integers in D. So what will be the product of six negative integers? A special case. Consider the following statements and the resultant products. Minus one multiplied by minus one is equal to plus one. Minus one multiplied by minus one multiplied by minus one is equal to minus one. Minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 is equal to plus 1. Minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 is equal to minus 1. This means that if the integer minus 1 is multiplied even number of times, the product is plus 1. And if the integer minus 1 
is multiplied odd number of times, the product is minus 1. You can check this by making pairs of minus 1 in the statement. This is useful in working out products of integers. We further see that in part A and C above, the number of negative integers that are multiplied are even, that is, 2 and 4 respectively. And the product obtained in part A and C are positive integers. The number of negative integers that are multiplied in B and C is odd, and the products obtained in B and D are negative integers. We find that if the number of negative integers in a product is even, then the product is a positive integer. If the number of negative integers in a product is odd, then the product is a negative integer. Justify it by taking five more examples of each kind. Think, discuss, and write. 1. The product minus 9 multiplied by minus 5 multiplied by minus 6 multiplied by minus 3 is positive, whereas the product minus 9 multiplied by minus 5 multiplied by 6 multiplied by minus 3 is negative. Why? 2. What will be the sign of the product if we multiply together a 8 negative integers and 3 positive integers, b 5 negative integers and 4 positive integers? Page 15. c minus 1 12 times, d minus 1 2m times. M is a natural number. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.